Hey guys, even here, and what the hell are we watching right now? What is this? What is this monster right here? It is a Kim Williams, also known as the Beast, who looks absolutely humongous right now in the offseason or 12 weeks out of Chicago Pro, as Sergio Oliva claims. So Sergio Oliva says that he is Sergio's biggest competition and that he is gonna do Chicago Pro, although Akim never really officially announced it, he looks like a winner of any show, really, like somebody who can actually even win the Mr. Olympia, because he has the size, he has the size, and he figured it out with the conditioning last year, yeah, the back issue is there, sure, back double bicep looks not good, it doesn't look very good, but look at his side chest right here, wow, just absolutely insane, so we have a couple of other off-season very impressive bodybuilders and we're gonna take a look at them, I'm gonna react to what I see, you're gonna react to what I see and what I say and to what you see, basically in the comment section down below, please make sure to do that. So let's keep, uh, let's stick with uh, Akeem Williams right now, he looks absolutely huge. So there was that photo that surfaced and I don't think that was recent, he was shredded, the glutes were absolutely peeled and then he posted another photo just of his legs, which didn't really look that impressive, which showed as that his legs weren't exactly that conditioned, but then he posted this one, a side chest. Actually, it's not him who posted it, but his coach, who says, uh, this is Akeem Williams yesterday, and he also says that uh, he's gonna be next version, next level, next time he competes. And his 2020 version of the Mr. Olympia was next level. He was finally conditioned after so many shows, and here, right now, he looks bigger and more impressive, and I mean, he's really conditioned for the off-season, hell yeah, I mean, look at the striations in the chest, look at the vascularity to the shoulders and the pecs and the arms as well, and the density of those quads, man, wow, what the f I mean, this guy, he's really big, he's really big, he's in a level of big Grammy right now, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him in a top 3 call-out because of all this mass, and if he figures it out with condition, if he comes even more peeled next time on the stage, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a dangerous Mr. Olympia package, I'm not even uh, doubting him winning Chicago Pro against Sergio, even Hunter Labrada, come on, come on, this guy is a next level bodybuilder, another level, he's a top tier bodybuilder right now, top 6 at the Mr. Olympia, almost top 5, and I'm thinking he might be top 3 this year, what do you think about Hakim Williams? Alright, so I mentioned Sergio, and I said that Hakim can easily beat him, Though that was not the case in the past, every show they, they, they competed against each other based on Sergio, what he says, uh, uh, Sergio won, Sergio won, and Akeem has Sergio blocked on Instagram, and Sergio says that he is the only top bodybuilder, open bodybuilder, pro bodybuilder that, uh, that blocked Sergio, and uh, Sergio doesn't know why Akeem blocked him, anyways, these guys apparently don't like each other too much, even though that was the case before, Sergio was better bodybuilder than Akeem, it's not the case anymore, I don't think, because Akeem really made crazy progress last year and it seems like he's gonna make more progress this year, though um, Sergio's arms right here are looking absolutely huge, so take a look at him and then admire them, like he has really good arms and really long muscle bellies, it just does look very impressive. Here you can see what happened last time they competed against one another, and uh, here Sergio won, I mean, he was more conditioned, he had more details, obviously Akim was thicker, he was bigger, but he wasn't really conditioned, later Akim figured it out with conditioning and he beat a whole bunch of guys at a Chicago Pro and then at the Mr. Olympia by placing 6th and winning the Chicago Pro, so he figured it out, like, he brought a really good level of conditioning, and with that mass of his, I mean, look, Sergio has great potential, he is great, he believes he can really do big things in bodybuilding, like win the Mr. Olympia, but against Akeem, I don't think so, I, didn't, I don't think he's that thick, I mean, look at, uh, look at Sergio right here, he's a little bit thin for Akeem, I mean, he didn't compete since that Arnold Classic, so hopefully he made some progress, hopefully he will look better at this year's uh, Chicago Pro, maybe he will actually win the show, but I would still bet on Akeem without even thinking about it too much. Since Cedric was on that photo before, I checked his Instagram and this is his physique update, the most recent one, I mean it's not really a physique update, but you can see his back, and you can get the idea of how much muscle he put back on after that surgery, after breaking his collarbone and his wrist, actually his, some of you, a few bones in his, uh, in his uh, hand. So here is him right now, he got uh, most of it, I mean probably all of the mess that he's gonna get back, and hopefully he will start dieting anytime soon and compete again, and hopefully come completely shredded once, 
and basically win any show he chooses. I mean, that's something he could have done when he was at his prime. I don't know if he still has it. He got a little bit older. He hasn't been competing for a while. So maybe, I mean, since that Arnold Classic. And he hasn't really been in his great shape that he once was in. So hopefully he will, you know, be able to bring it back and come really conditioned and regain all the size that he lost. He didn't really lose that much, but a little bit. I mean, it's only, I mean, it's probably mostly water. You know, he just lost some fullness because he was probably off the gear and he didn't really train hard. So he got back what he lost. Hopefully he still has it uh, age-wise to dominate the stages. Another side chest, another amazing off-season update. Samson Dauda this time around. Not super popular, not top Mr. Olympia competitor. Probably many of you didn't even hear about him, so I'm not gonna talk about him too, too long. But I have to mention him. I, I just had to show this to you because... He looks huge right now. It looks like he grew a lot and he has the muscle bellies. He has everything, really. It just I think it's just about the time. If he keeps progressing, if he doesn't really give up, he has all the tools to be a top Mr. Olympia contender. And right now in the offseason, the side chest looks absolutely amazing. Not a side chest, but a back shot. Back lat spread and just relaxed back. Uh, posted by Patrick Tour, who is the coach of this man right here. James Hollingshead, who is qualified for the Mr. Olympia 2021, and I do have him in the top 10 for sure, and right now, in the offseason, I mean, he looks absolutely humongous, I mean, take a look at this guy, he looks like a Hulk, he really grew and he keeps growing, and he has the genetics to be a beast, a monster, which he is right now, yep, take a look at this, just absolutely insane, insane level of muscularity through the back. So I'm really excited, I can't wait to see James on the stage against the other top guys, I think he's gonna fare well against them and crack the top 10. Alright, alright, so we have another update of Hassan Mustafa, in which he looks better than the previous one, he does look cleaner, but the lighting is more flattering, and I don't know if he's gonna be super ripped on the stage, it doesn't seem like that. Yeah, he's gonna be fine, he's gonna be okay, he's gonna be conditioned enough, is he gonna be peeled out of his mind like Nick Walker is going to? Nah, I don't, I don't think so. I mean, maybe he can do some crazy, crazy wonders with his physique, with his metabolism in a week to get really ripped, but I don't really see it. It's not really realistic, so he's gonna be conditioned enough. Yes. Is he gonna be ripped? No, I don't think so. And Nick is. So do I have Hassan winning the show? Uh, not anymore. No, I can say he is gonna be probably second or third. I have Nick winning and second is gonna be between Justin and Hassan, based on what I've seen so far. So in this physique update right here, Hassan does not look super conditioned, more conditioned than the previous time. Uh, after, 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 after doing some uh, carving up, he does look better, but he will still have to fill up as he says. When he said that he's gonna carb up last time, it was probably for a day, and then he kept training hard and posing a lot, as he says right here, with Flex Wheeler, he's practicing with him, and um, he's gonna get much better, for sure, with time, but how much better, that's the question. And he's gonna start the training less now, rest up, and carb up properly, and get filled up, and look more impressive, for sure. So based on this photo right here, another photo, and uh, this, this video that he also posted here, you can see that he's really big, like he's really full, but probably a little bit too full. I would prefer to see him looking a little bit flatter at this point, and then fuller as the show approaches. So apparently he didn't really lose that much muscle and that much fat, and that's why he kept the fullness, but he does have those crazy veins, the crazy vascularity and crazy 3D effect. I mean, his physique, look at it, this photo also that he posted, I mean, look at this. Look, wow, wow, I and mean, look at the vascularity, really freaking impressive, right? I mean, he got really conditioned in a, in a short time, but again, I'm saying he's a little bit too full, he's not too, he's not flat enough, I mean, yeah, bodybuilding is not about being super flat, but on the stage, the most conditioned guy is gonna win this show, because they are all very close, Nick, Justin, and Hassan, very, very close, it's gonna be about the conditioning, and it seems like Nick is bringing the best conditioning, not Hassan. All right, and finally we have an amazing update of Blessing of Odibu. I mean, he's the topic. He's the man. Everybody's talking about him. I didn't mention him when I talked about the top three at the New York Pro because I don't really think he's gonna be in that top three. He's not that big. But finally he showed his legs from the front. And he definitely does look very depleted. This is the look that I want to see a few days out of a show, so when he fills up, he's gonna look better, he's gonna look just much more, much more impressive, and this is the thing, guys, I mean, he is big, 
he is really big. I talked to some people who actually uh, saw him in person, and they say this guy is big. I mean, he's also tall, but I know how big he is. He's not small. Yeah, maybe he's not as big as Hassan, as far as the legs, <laughs> for sure. But uh, still, the legs are not looking that small. Everybody was talking about he has the small legs, show the legs. Nick was saying that, uh, Mikhail Krizo was saying that as well. But no, his legs are pretty fine. And I love the fact that he is so depleted and he is so shredded at this point. After he uh, fills up completely, like, he's gonna fill up nicely because he's coached by uh, Chad Nichols and he is known for having these crazy karma protocols. So he depleted him probably as much as he could have and now he's gonna carb him up. And with this, with this I mean, when you are so depleted, you're gonna lose a lot of fat. And so he lost a lot of fat. Hassan probably didn't have the same approach and that's why he didn't literally get that conditioned. And Blessing is gonna be ripped to shreds. And here, the, the legs are not looking that bad. Very depleted right now. So that's why they look a little bit stringy. But once he carves up, they're going to look much more impressive. So there you go, guys. You can see his legs right now. And I'm not disappointed. I'm really amazed with the conditioning that he's bringing. So Indy Pro, is he going to win it against Justin Rodriguez? I don't think so. But top two would be an amazing result for the Pro Debut. And then at the New York Pro, top four. I think it's, it's pretty realistic. We'll see though what's gonna happen, but I think that's pretty reasonable outcome that's gonna happen at, this, at these two shows. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, more content about the bodybuilding stuff, everything about bodybuilding, subscribe to my channel. All the best guys and bye bye.